Hey everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Today, we'll be working on this armoire that I'm turning into a coffee bar. I've been wanting to do one of these coffee bars for a while, so I'm excited I got the chance to do one. The first thing I'm doing is cleaning this piece with all-purpose spray and a clean rag. I then removed all the drawers, and one of the drawer slides on the inside was loose, so we screwed a screw back in and it was all fixed. I removed all the knobs from the drawers, and these knobs are pretty nice so I'm definitely keeping them. I gave all the drawers a second cleaning after I removed all the knobs. And now I'm giving all the drawers a scuff sand with 220 grit sandpaper. And then we're also scuff sanding the doors with 220 grit sandpaper as well. And now we're masking off all the drawers so we don't get paint on the inside of the drawers when we're spraying the paint on. And now we are removing the back of the armoire so we could take the shelf out. This is the paint I'm using. It's Conversion Varnish by Sherm Williams.
After all the drawers and doors were done, we moved the Amar into the paint booth and I gave it a scuff sand with 220 grit sandpaper and then we masked off the inside of the Amar and got it ready for paint. So we ended up running out of conversion varnish and we weren't able to put a last coat of paint on this shelf and we didn't want to go spend another $70 or so on a gallon of conversion varnish just to finish this one shelf. So I ended up just doing a fake stain on it. This is a paint I am using. It's a mist tint. It's like a beigey color and the sheen is flat.
And then this is my dad just helping me figure out what color stain I should use on the shelf. And the stain I'm using is a mix between two different stains. One of the stains I'm using is by Zara Stain in the color Dark Chocolate Truffle. And the other stain I'm using is by Zara Stain as well, and this one's in the color Walnut. And I'm applying the stain with a chip brush, and that helps create the grain. Once the stain dried, I used the General Finishes Gel Top Coat. It's oil-based and the sheen is satin, and I use a sponge to apply it. And then we bought this pendant light from Home Depot to add to the coffee bar. Next, we put all the hinges back on and started to put everything back together. This is the new backing we bought for the coffee bar. It's from Home Depot. And then we cut it down to fit the back of the coffee bar. And then we added this hole in the back for a coffee machine. And then I put the drawers back in and the hardware back on. And then finally, we're adding these hooks on each side of the coffee bar. We 
This is what the armoire looked like before. And this is what the armoire looks like now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.